right. Um, I don't really know how else to begin. How do you podcast. start a podcast? I don't know. <laughs> Um, well, welcome to this podcast, Tales from the Bluff, the mm. only podcast that LMU has. Yes. <laughs> we think. We hope. Yeah. Um, we are not through main entertainment, <laughs> let's just get that out of the way. Uh, we're not sponsored either. Yeah, we're not, yeah, we're not sponsored. Um, we're just starting this up. We wanted to make a podcast because, um, you know, we're ev- bored. everyone needs a podcast. Yeah, and we're bored. Yeah. We want to, like, put something on our resumes. Yeah. And put something up, you know, gain some infamy on campus because gain three followers on Spotify. The only, the only, <laughs> the only people that um, that anyone knows on campus are the old ways, and that needs to change <laughs> as soon as possible. We gotta introduce the podcast to the masses. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> how do we do that? First, we need to introduce ourselves. Oh, right. <laughs> Would you like to go first? I'm David, and I am Alex. We uh, are uh, sophomores currently. Yeah. In the year 2019 of our Lord. Yes. <laughs> still 2019, <laughs> I think. Um, I believe you're still undeclared, right? Yeah, I don't have a major yet. And my major is physics and applied math, so we really cover. <laughs> we, we cover everything. Um, man, it's so weird, like seeing this thing go. It really makes me yeah. nervous. I want to zoom out of this. I'm kind of self-conscious <laughs> of the voice levels. I am too, but. We're just gonna have to go with it because, I mean, we're how how far are we into this? A minute and forty <laughs> seconds. Oh shit, that's a little too long, I think. Yeah. All right. So that's the podcast. Thanks for tuning in. We're guys. done. We're done. We're finished. That's the end. Um. So okay. God, it just I don't like how it keeps scrolling like that. Is what like do you anyone, mean? Well, like how like every time it gets to the end of this thing, it just like bumps over. No one knows what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> okay. And that's how you know it's a conversation worth having. We're just gonna minimize that window, and we're gonna look at the. We're gonna look at this picture. Of he me. was talking about how our voice levels were showing up on the recording software, and how as it scrolled along, it kept moving to it the sky. Moving. It kept scooting over. It kept making us very worried <laughs> about what was going. But now on. that we have no no sense of um, where we are in time or space, yeah. we're going unscripted. We don't know what's going mm-hmm. on. Anything so, could happen. This ain't that NPR. This isn't NPR. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> Just to be clear, this is not an NPR podcast. Um, again, not sponsored, but hopefully that changes sometime soon. Um, yeah, I hope NPR sponsors us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so you might you may have noticed this. My voice sounds kind of different, right? Yeah, what happened? So, we had hall brawls yesterday. Oh, yeah. For the, for the freshman land. Fun and times. I remember that. Yeah. The, so you were in Hall Brawls last year? Yeah. I fought for Rosecrans. Yes. And uh, what, My one and only. Did you play flag football? Uh, I didn't do flag football, but I did like a couple of the smaller games. Like the, like the long games? Yeah, the long games. They didn't have those this they year. They didn't have no, those? No, they didn't. I know. Okay, so this is the worst thing ever, right? Yeah. We're Delray North. I'm in. Okay, first I'm I'm an RA. Um, yeah. That's another thing. Make that that's clear. That's, that's why he's in Hall Brawls. That's, that's why I'm in Hall Brawls yeah. as a sophomore, not because I <laughs> like some sort of freak that's like, hey, can I join? <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, everyone, everyone listening to this podcast knows the Hall Brawls. Yeah. Is, so I don't need to describe that. But yeah. flag football. Um, it's the main event, it's pretty like, much. It's, yeah, well, there's like three main events. There's dodgeball, trivia, and, dodge, yeah. and do, 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 dodgeball, dodgeball, trivia, trivia. and dodgeball. Uh, and flag football. Yeah. yeah. Trivia, that's definitely like the least hype, but it's still pretty exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, but flag football is the first one of the day, so it's like sort of where you get your momentum going. Yeah. So we had a pretty good start. I have like a like a little boom box that I carried around. Oh, and sure. like, like Delray North's... Like this is you know, you know. wait. What was your like chan or anything? Did you okay, do that? yeah. So we like we we did this thing during RA training, mm-hmm. which was um, like we were supposed to like have like a, a staff cheer, and it was like we're like North North Star or whatever. So we just go like, who's the brightest star? North North North. You know who we are. North North North. So it's like one person that leads, and everyone else just says yeah. North North. And then there was a couple other ones that we had, but our color was white. Awful color yeah. for hall brawls. For hall brawls, because that's like the one that you can't decorate anything. So you can't do have a tie dye like yeah, shirt exactly. or like. Anything. I really wanted to do a tie dye event, but oh, if you did black, fun. we would look like Waylon because Waylon's color is black. Waylon's black. Wait, what were all the colors then? Okay, so Rosecrans like, was blue, and yeah. as if you recall last year, everyone got a shirt with an R on it. Yeah, that, that happened again cool. this year. Mm. Um, and they also had custom ordered flags. 
Oh. Yeah, because Brian was willing to Brian spend money pulled on through. Brian is awesome. Brian's the RD <laughs> of Rosecrans. And he's incredible. Yeah, um, I love him. Yeah, he, and he also buys like those custom shirts for his staff, too. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty dope. Um, yeah, so Rosecrans was blue. Um, this year, instead of McKesmond, it was Drez- Dra- is Drains. So Desmond and Rains. Oh, does, yeah, because the so, Rains is some uh, freshman. Because Rains has freshmen in it now. And then yeah. McKay was their own. So McKay mm-hmm. was purple. Drains was red. Um, Doheny was surprisingly on their own, hmm. um, but they were yellow, like East Quad was last year. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. East Quad. R.I.P. East Quad. Um, but I miss Houston. And the like, you might not no, know I'm this, wild. but the, the <laughs> <laughs> you might not know this, but the staff is joint for Rosecrans and Doheny. Mm-hmm. So whenever they do duty rounds, they have to go through both buildings. Oh. Yeah. So like, there, I, I I heard from a couple of my friends that it's like forty minutes just to do a single round. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> So um, that's what they have to deal with. Um, Poor but then, Kate. Yeah, uh huh. And and Seth. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and Colin too. All the Rosecrans yeah, Ries. Riley Shout and Soso and Dez, all of them. Name drop. <laughs> Name drop. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is he gets to drive his golf cart around, I guess. Uh, when well, he's on duty, when the RDs are on duty. Wait, so like Rosecrans is kind of responsible for Doheny. As Doheny is responsible for Rosecrans, yeah. So yeah. some some nights like when. They always have to have two two RAs on duty, mm. which is kind of crazy because that's yeah. like not something that you get very often. Um, so yeah, one night you just might be with like a if you're a Rosecrans staff member, you might be with a Doheny staff mm-hmm. member. And that's just how it goes. Um, that's interesting. We were talking about colors. Delray South is green. Yeah. yeah. Um, Wayland was black. I think that's all of them. Why'd they do black and white? I feel like there are other colors that they could have picked from. I want. I wanted pink personally oh, for Delray North been good. because then yeah because then we would have been able to have like a hype up tie dye event and yeah. let me tell you why it was so important we had a hype up tie dye event. Flag football, typically, I think in years past it's been a winners and a losers bracket, mm-hmm. and that was the case for this year too. But the first game of the day was the only elimination match, uh-huh. which meant whoever lost didn't get to play. <laughs> For the rest of the flag football, and guess which team lost? lost. Yeah, yeah, Delray North lost, oh. and everyone's like, "I'm not gonna stay to support nothing." Oh, so yeah, they, they all left. So all my all my freshmen <laughs> left to go to the beach instead of staying for hall brawls, and it was it broke my heart because I was going over to um oh god where the hell was I what was I doing um there was something I I went back to pick up something uh, and I saw all of them leave. I'm they like, all just I'm like. I, I just looked them in the eyes and I said, "I'm not disappointed." Yeah, you know, I, I can't blame them. I mean, why would yeah, you stick no, around? exactly. Um, but it was it was still really sad. And the thing about hall brawls is that, in addition to the three events, like how you place in those events, you're mm-hmm. also evaluated on spirit, and that goes towards your victory score. Yeah, but so, you have no spirit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we had no spirit because everyone left, and it was literally just the Delray North staff staying. Oh my god! Were um, there like any kids at all? No, not a single resident. But so, I mean, when trivia came around, more people turned up. And when dodgeball came around, more people turned up. Just barely. Mm -hmm. But, like, with dodgeball, you had to have, like, an equal amount of guys and girls. Oh, yeah. So we literally only had one girl resident who was willing to play, which which meant we had to have two of our RAs play. Oh. Um, so you only had six people for dodgeball? I mean, there was a there was a couple guys that showed up. Oh, okay. Um, but they but we won dodgeball. We got first place oh my in dodgeball. God. We got second That's place awesome. in trivia. But it was really disappointing oh. because... By losing, by getting seventh place in flag football, mm-hmm. we pretty much also got last place in spirit. So it was like a double whammy, which yeah. was really sad. That's um, depressing. Yeah, because nobody wanted to stick around. Meanwhile, Rosecrans has like 50 people all wearing blue, <laughs> waving flags Rose around. Rosecrans. Who yeah. won? Rosecrans. Oh, of course. Yeah, because they got second in um, dodgeball and first place in flag football. Mm. Um, Rosecrans. So, uh-huh. But their their spirit was so good. I was I was really yeah. jealous because I'm I'm very much I'm a very spirited person. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those of you listening, uh, you <laughs> to put a to put a name to a face. If you were at the the rally, oh the freshman God. rally, <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah. talk about that. Should I talk about that? Yeah. I don't. If you're from the class of 22 and you remember at the first rally of the year, that the, kid who danced on stage. That's me. That's him. Um. So I very much love spirit, and when all my kids leave. And I'm respon- I'm like feeling responsible for that. It's it, it's crushing. Yeah. It's absolutely crushing. And um, so that was that. That was hall brawls. But I was cheering really loud because mm. obviously like during dodgeball, yeah. we won and it was super hype. That's awesome. Um, and the best part about it really was like every other group of people had like had thirty maybe like 25, 30 plus people. Uh-huh. We had like f- maybe twelve. 
Um, but we, Delray North had buckets with drumsticks, so we had bucket drums the whole time, and we were like uh, making a lot of noise. Yeah. So it was really really fun. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, like, I was like. You know, I was the team captain for dodgeball, so I was like, "You guys, like, go, 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 come on, we got this!" Like, huddle and like throw those balls. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it was really fun. Um, Hall brawls is a great time. I'm glad that I got to experience it a second time. Yeah. Because last year I felt super <laughs> excluded. Like I remember, I was like, I went to flag football, they didn't let me play. I went yeah. to spike ball, they didn't let me play. I went to trivia, I was like, this is boring. And then I went to dodgeball, I'm like, can I play? And they're like, uh, maybe. And then I just went swimming instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, that's awesome that you like actually got to do stuff. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna do it next year? Well, do you uh, know if you're gonna be an RA well, next year? Well, so that's the thing about RA is there's like a reapplication process that happens mm-hmm. at the same time as like the normal application process. Yeah. And um, I don't really know how it works, but like presumably, like if I don't drop the ball <laughs> with this job, <laughs> then I'll probably be fine. But yeah. we'll just see. don't be a bad RA. Yeah, and there's also a possibility I might end up in an RA in a non-freshman area. Oh yeah, um, but these these last two weekends have been really busy for me because like we've been mandated to work certain like mm-hmm. shifts for like Viva LMU, which is a freshman event, mm-hmm. um, for this thing that we had today that um, was sort of a new thing, fire festival, where uh-huh. you, you have yeah, uh-huh. so you have a bunch of tables, um, essentially for people to interact with one another and like sort of find out where they're from. Like mm-hmm. apparently uh-huh. there's a there's a freshman this year who's from where I'm from, Bend, Oregon. Um, Ooh. Yeah, but I wasn't able to find them. But I was essentially, um, one of my jobs today was to just sit at that place and interact with people as they were coming by. That's cool, so cool. Uh-huh. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, but I think, like, the, sort of the thing about that event, like, it's almost, I don't, I would never say that an event is good, necessarily, because it doesn't have a good turnout. But, like, for events like that, where it's meant to, like, introduce yourself to other people, like, if people don't show up to that, it's probably because they're hanging out with friends anyway. Yeah. Which means it's, like, those those sorts of um, people don't need those events. That's true. Um, which is great because they're like super independent and that's, you know, good for them. Um, shit, so what else was there? What else happened? Oh, this is an explicit podcast, by the yeah. way. Sorry. We can use bad words. We can use bad, bad words and we can say bad things. because we're not part of uh, LMU's main entertainment or whatever. Oh yeah, that's true. So they like, have to be... We're not sponsored by them. We're not family values here. Mm-hmm. The only open mic night that I went to, there was a stand-up comedian mm-hmm. who would be, like, super edgy. Oh. And, like, they, like shine, like, a red light at him. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what the hell is this? Like, am, am I going to get, like, arrested or something? <laughs> and they were, like, telling him, to, like, calm down, because I guess it's, like, a main, main entertainment thing, but... No. I consider being a part of main entertainment at one point, but I don't know. I guess it's just not my thing. No. You Seems... can't get sponsored by Squarespace if you do main entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> We're waiting Squarespace. Squarespace. Um, okay, let's talk about setting up podcasts. We li- yeah. literally have a single USB microphone. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell by the It the probably doesn't sound phone. great. No. And, you know... That's something that we're gonna have to work on, obviously. Like, mm-hmm. we can make the the audio sound like fine, and we, and you know, not like crap. But because I only have one microphone, and I'm not making any money off yeah, this, we're not earning anything. Then, then we can't really get um. Like, we good, can, good we don't want to like invest in like a hundred dollar mic mm-hmm. for like, a podcast that's that may not or may anything. not be something. Yeah. However, I'm a pretty frugal person. And I get a stipend for being an RA. Yeah. So and that I think that, that check probably came came in recently. So if I get like I don't know like a tell good us amount of salary, huh? Tell us your salary. I, <laughs> I don't. I feel like I shouldn't say. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a lot. But it's not nothing either. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm, I'm, I mean the fact that they give us a stipend on top of the room and board is absolutely stellar. I love that. Um, so okay. So yeah, so what I was saying though, podcasts are like very difficult, and I don't think yeah. we're prepared for this at all. It yeah. took us like thirty minutes just to figure <laughs> this out. We were sitting in a different area. Yeah. Um, it wasn't working out. The yeah. mic was being weird. We almost like created a, essentially a trip wire across the room. Yeah. Um, we almost lit our cords on fire. Yeah. Because we were trying to st- stretch them over the stove. Mm-hmm. So that was great, but hopefully at some point the audio yeah. quality is going to improve. Yeah. Um, Once I get that library money. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> buy us some new mics. Yeah, man. Okay, so d- describe that job a little bit. The library. Yeah, I work uh-huh. at the circulation desk. Okay. So like, once you go into the library, it's that front desk there. So basically, my job is to just help people like with their issues, like mm-hmm. if they have to check out books, or they're 
the have a question or if they're in like a study room and their projector's not working, mm -hmm. they have to come to me and ask for help. <laughs> but like I really don't know anything. So are you like just like the guy that connects them to where they need to be? No, or... like they gave us like all these online resources to okay. like, help us figure out how to help them. Mm -hmm. So I mean like I can do I have like, learned how to do a lot of basic stuff. Like I can check books in and out. I can get them like if they're running tech equipment. I can help them find books through the library thing. But if, like, I'm waiting for the day where, like, some, like, guy comes in who's, like, an adult who clearly, like, knows stuff about the library and asks me a question, I have no idea, and then he'll, like, get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> that almost happened to me. Some, like, person came in, and they were having, like, they, there was some bizarre request they had. And even, like, the librarian training me was, like, a little confused. Mm -hmm. And they were getting really frustrated. I'm like... This is a library at a college. You don't need to get this mad. But yeah, it's a really like relaxed job. Uh -huh. Yeah, because that's the one on the first floor, right? Yeah. How often do you work there? Uh, seven hours a week. Okay, and like, like that depends. What do you like, mean? Like, does oh. is it like a cer certain yeah, day? Yeah, I, I have a set. Oh, okay. Like, set hours. I'm not telling the audience. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Like, make sure you pay him a visit. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Because <laughs> you're gonna come up to me and be like. Hey, uh... Hey, big fan of the show. Big fan of the show. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have fun during work. You're not? No. Is that what they said? So I can do homework, but... You can't play, fun. like, Cut the Rope or Doodle Jump? No, I can't play any games. No BuzzFeed quizzes. Oh, no. I don't know which friend I am. How will I figure it out if I can't go on BuzzFeed? Uh, have you tried any of the other... I'm Ross. <laughs> <laughs> you big shit. You... What? What? You big fan of the show Friends? Uh, I I know Friends somewhat. I I've, I've seen a lot of episodes, but I don't think I'm been like I'm like an expert on it. Like I know a lot more about like The Office and like Seinfeld. Okay, yeah, and the, you know what? If you ask me, those are shows that are much more worth knowing. <laughs> <laughs> friends is good though. Don't hate on Friends. Okay, I'm not gonna. Well, cause we'll, we'll lose we'll lose audience. We'll lose the friends audience. <laughs> we'll lose the friends audience, which is we like we need most, all of the the, most of the school probably. It's a good show. We'll lose Miles. Uh oh, he still wears that friends shirt all the time. Oh, good for him. He hasn't gotten many girls yet, but mm -hmm. we can hope. I'm a vegetarian now. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those of you uh, back home. Maybe. I mean, you might be listening to this from Bolivia, and if that's the case, I'm so sorry. Why would someone from Bolivia be listening to this? Um, be... Because... <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, the Amazon is burning. Yeah. And... And so you've become a, a vegan because of it. A vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yes. You're no. still an egg no, guy? No, because... Huh? Still on the eggs? I'm still on... I'm still on the eggs. Because then I won't get the B12 and I'll get diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to diarrhea. Shout out to eggs. Yeah, so, I don't know. Like, I've always been sort of passionate about the environment. And I've said this to a lot of people, so huh, if you're if you're listening to this and you've already had this conversation with me, I'm so sorry that I'm telling you I'm vegetarian for the 13th time. Um, but, you know, with stuff like this, I can say, oh, it's horrible that the Amazon is burning. Yeah. And then get in my car and drive and somewhere. And then drive somewhere. And then, and then get in the shower and take, like, a ten-minute shower with warm water. Mm, yeah. And then, like, you know, do all that stuff. It's like, how can I, in good conscience, continue doing all these things that I'm doing while the world is burning? Like, yeah. it's sort of like my throwing, you know... And and, and David's roommate has, has <laughs> emerged from, from the bedroom. What's up, Connor? What up? Do you want to say some words to the audience? Yeah. All right, come closer to the this, mic. So this podcast is called Tales from the Bluff, where we talk about everything LMU. But yeah. right now we're talking about the Amazon. <laughs> so, yeah, why did you bring up the Amazon? Because I'm vegetarian now. And, you know, people want to, mm -hmm. you know... People, people want to know why you're people vegetarian. People want to know why I'm vegetarian. It's the big question on campus. Uh -huh. Why are you vegetarian? <laughs> you can listen to the podcast later. <laughs> I don't want to explain it again. That sounds good. So, Connor, why are you vegetarian? I could not live vegetarian i'm allergic to most fruits and vegetables and dairy wait which uh, ones like give us a, give us a most. most most what which That's ones aren't you allergic to i mainly eat apples spinach hell yeah broccoli, mushrooms and zucchini that's about it so Ooh. i can never do vegetarian because i could literally only eat like four things mm, yeah i live off meat. Yeah, there's like granola <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's tough even with nuts though yeah oh true yeah so, your body just hates you no i'm i'm is there swearing allowed on 
That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking allergies, medical issues, like diseases. Yeah, that's me. Oh no. We could do a whole another podcast episode called Connor's wanna, Disease. Connor's yeah, disease. Wanna, well, the I so talk about it for hours. Let's actually talk about. That's a great segue. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> the, Thanks, man. What will if I make coffee? No, no, no. Okay. Cool. What will, <laughs> what will, so, and the, the audience back home will be able to smell it too. So yeah, I can smell it. I can smell it right now. It hasn't it's even been made yet. Made. It smells um, good. We'll so, share some with the audience. Yeah. So no. <laughs> <laughs> the. Uh, Part of the yeah. Part of Why the are we show, doing this podcast? Yeah, the, the reason we're doing this podcast, first of all, is because now that I'm in the fire area, the first year residential experience area. Can you please stop doing that? Okay. okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. You, you, okay. For um, David just keeps drinking from his smart water bottle and just like drooling it back into <laughs> the water bottle. And like, there's like a there's like a spot of water that he keeps smearing around on the table. I'm pres- I really hope that it's not like coming from your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. He just, just did it trying again. to make it laugh. Oh God. Okay. So that what we're doing with this podcast is talking to each other, get, about, having like about whatever because yeah. we don't have like it's. I have a lot of stuff to do. Like I'm in a service org. I'm in the other things. Big guy on campus. Yeah, they're involved in a lot of stuff, and I want the opportunity to talk with my friend David. And David wants the, presumably wants the opportunity to <laughs> talk to me. I do. Um, oh my God, we've been recording for twenty minutes. That's too long. Oh we God, gotta, we gotta end the podcast. No, we do not. I, this is actually really fun. Yeah, sure. If we get twenty five likes on this podcast, David has to go to the gym consistently for <laughs> two oh. months. You know, if we get twenty five followers before um, before October first, I have to go to the gym every has to day. Go to the gym, uh, I would say three times a week. Oh my God, it's exhausting. Can't do it's it. Tiring. Oh, speaking of which, look. What's on your hand? A bunch of um, missing skin from going to the climbing gym. Oh. Okay, before we talk about that, can we please talk about what this <laughs> we podcast gotta talk is about, about? Why is it called Tales from the Bluff? Because there are so many stories on this campus, so many different people with different experiences with LMU, that a single a single person could never possibly understand. <laughs> he did he did the water thing again, and a single person could never. Like experience everything that can be experienced at LMU. So the goal of this show is to sort of, in addition to us being able to have a conversation consistently, mm-hmm. to have other guests here to, you know, interact and sort of share their story of what it's like to be an LMU student for them. Um, and, yeah, I think, I mean, we'll try to have guests on as, as often as possible. I've already talked to a couple people and they said that they would be interested in it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's like... Um, you know, to be fair, a little bit of bias in, in terms of, like, who's coming on this show. Yeah, because, I mean, it's people we like. Yeah, people that we, you know, <laughs> feel like would be good on a podcast. No but, one we don't like. But, here's the thing, if you are interested, if you are interested in, in being on this podcast, we will probably, by the next episode, create some sort of email for this podcast. And you can email and say if you're interested in being a guest on the show, we'd love to have you on. Or follow my Instagram. Okay, you can follow, what's your Instagram? Oh god, I don't know. You don't know what your you don't know what your own username. Is. I don't know what my handle is. Hmm. My handle is D Stotner nine. That is D S T O T T N E R. Then the number nine. So yeah, if you like, want to be on the podcast, just like let us know, message us, and, and we will... if you see us in person, you can talk to us, and you will be able to share your tale. Yeah. From the bluff. Tale from the bluff. We're just hoping to get as many like diverse voices as possible mm-hmm. from around the campus. Mm-hmm. So we can just have some more of a sense of what goes on at LMU. Mm-hmm. Like, we could have Connor on. Yeah, and he can tell us about... He's a film major. He does a lot of film stuff. And mm-hmm. I'm sure that's be very interesting to learn more about. Yeah. Um, I, have a, I have a friend who's in Ames. Oh, yeah. yeah. That'd um, be cool. Yeah. And a lot of people don't even know what that acronym stands for, <laughs> so they could talk about that. Uh, a lot of math friends... Yeah, um, we could get people in service orgs mm-hmm. in France and yeah, whatnot. Exactly. Yeah, I'm a German people class. Greek, Greek speak class. some German for us. Come speak some. <laughs> That's okay. Say one thing in German. No, I don't want a whole country to hate you guys. Okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you for thank you for the consideration. We don't um, want to lose those German followers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe like, maybe at some oh, point... this coffee smells so good. It really does. You guys smell that? God, this coffee is really horny. You guys back home smell that coffee? <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> smells good. Just open your nose. To the fruity taste it shows. It's not fruity, man. It's like, it's like, it's like, he doesn't like black. Like, he's very, like, a traditional coffee guy. Mm -hmm. He doesn't put a lot of, like, cream and stuff in mm -hmm. it. And that's how it should be. That's how it should it's be. It says God intended. When God invented coffee, he intended it to hurt. We'll be right back. And we're back. We're back. Um, Sorry about that. No, it's fine. We just, um... <laughs> <laughs> we were checking the audio levels yeah. to see if, you know, if the folks back home could hear us. Okay, but that's a great thing to bring up. It what? probably does sound like we're in a bathroom right now, and we're yeah. so sorry about that. But we've already mentioned we're working on the audio hardware. Just be patient with us. If you like our our personalities and our banter enough, then you'll be able to stick around. But And if you don't like us, then maybe you'll stick around for somebody else who's going to yeah. eventually be on our podcast. Next episode, we're having... Uh... Can we vote anyone? Uh, no. <laughs> I can talk about it, though. Should we do this every week? What? Record this every oh. week. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, we'll we'll get into it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it could be um, one of my co my one of my coworkers, an mm. RA who's in health and human sciences. Oh, cool. Um, he's also on the crew team right now, so mm. he can he can talk about we what can it's learn like, about what it's like boats. yeah what it's like balancing all those things. He could share with us about that. His yeah. name's Jake. Um, that would be cool. Cool guy. Mm hmm. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll try to we'll try to do that. Uh, Sunday afternoons. I know a lot of people like to do homework at this time, but you mm -hmm. don't <laughs> like to do homework ever. No. So that probably works for both you and I to we'll do this. See, I wonder yeah. if other people will be able to do that. But we can figure it out because mm -hmm. I think both of our schedules are, for the most part, flexible. We'll figure something out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I I mean this is something that I really wanted to do, and maybe like eventually we'll get like some yeah. sort of radio we'll show make it, on. We'll do it better next time. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, we will. But um, I mean like working. Like, being, like, on KXLU or something, or KLMU with, like, a talk show, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. That'd be, like, an end goal. Our um, goal is to get sponsored by LMU. Mm-hmm. That'd be really fun, because then we could be, like, the, the, the podcast guys on campus. Yeah. Everyone will hate us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, ah, oh, those, those ah, fuckers. These guys have a fucking podcast. I just think they're better than us. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you start your own, then? That's yeah. what I have to say to you. Everybody, start your own podcast. Mm-hmm. We'll listen. <laughs> We're not gonna listen. Um, yeah, but I mean, let's see. So we've been talking a lot about ourselves. Yes, we wanted to hear about from you. Yeah, the audience. Um, so just say, just ask a question real quick. That's a good question. That's um, a good point, actually. Yeah, I didn't yeah, thought about it like that. I think. I mean, here's a question I've been getting a lot. Yeah. How were your classes this week? Yeah, everyone just does not know how to talk anymore, so they just ask, oh, how are your classes this uh -huh. semester? Yeah. And you're just like, I guess they're all right. Yeah, I know. One of my one of my really good friends, Yogi, Yogesh. 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 Great guy. Yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> he hates small talk. He's like, when people ask the same thing over and over again, it's like, it's like, I know you're just saying this to be polite. It's not that you actually care how my classes are going. And it's like... This it's isn't a, my smart watch, by the way. It's not? No. So you've been spitting into some... Someone left this here on uh, Friday night. There is That is water in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> just checking. Yeah, so go back to what yoga. Yeah, so he was just saying... He just hates small talk. And it's like pretty cynical, you know, to think that like people are just like doing that because they... Are trying to make conversation and good for them, but like, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like, I think small talk's important when you start a relationship with someone, mm -hmm. just so you can learn about them. Because mm -hmm. like, if you go up to someone and you just start getting really deep really quick, mm -hmm. it could scare them off. That's true. Small talk's really helpful if you're like, if you like don't know anything. If it's uh, like someone in your class and you're like, oh, they're cool, mm -hmm. like they seem interesting, yeah. then you can ask them about their classes and stuff. But like exactly. when it's like your friend you've known for a whole year, exactly, and then they come up to you and say, how are your classes? Mm -hmm. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. 
Here's here's a better question that I've ask, been asking to a lot of people. What class are you most excited for for this semester? Or like, what professors of yours? What class are you most excited for? I'm probably most excited for electricity and magnetism. Mm. Just because it's a physics class and I love physics. Yeah, that's um, cool. Yeah. It's electric. It's oh. Mm. <laughs> 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 you know, I can't I can't think of a single person who I've shared that with who has thought that that was a good thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um we should have some segments on this podcast. Yeah, we'll try. Mm-hmm. We'll try to be funny. Yeah. It's I, hard. I don't think we have been so far. I don't think so. Either. I do think I anyone genuinely don't think this is a funny podcast. It doesn't I, have to be. We're just trying to get our legs in the door. Mm-hmm. We're trying to figure out how like we do this. Mm-hmm. Like, even though it's obviously this this podcast right now, what what is being recorded, we both recognize is not the most entertaining. This thing is not a good world. episode. But no one start on episode one of this. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're gonna this, like a monster now we're gonna be like, oh, I'll start on episode eight. Well, yeah, exactly. And um we're going to upload this anyway, though, because yeah. once we do sort of get our get groove, better. yeah, when, once we get our groove, it's going to be like a testament to like how far we've come. We're going to listen to this episode probably later today and cringe. Yeah, which is going to be great. I, I hate the sound of my voice. Me too. When it's like disembodied. Yeah. Like, I had a YouTube channel for a while, and I kind of like, was like, okay, yeah, yeah, my voice is a little annoying, but it's like, that's my face, and it's doing its thing. Mm-hmm. Um, when it's disembodied, I feel like my voice sounds way too high. My laugh sounds super obnoxious. Yeah. Um, I think my voice sounds too high. Yeah. So, like, we're just gonna... So, what painful. I'm gonna do in, in editing is I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna take the it out and transpose the whole thing. Wouldn't <laughs> that be so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna do it for this. Just this part. Yeah. We'll just see so what it remember. sounds. Let's, uh, let's see what the, the timestamp is. What are we at? We're at 31, 31 minutes in, uh, okay. in 40 seconds. Is there a way to, like, add a little mark without stopping the recording? You can just listen to it again. The whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll remember okay, 31 30, 31 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, so that conversation we just had right there is gonna be pitched down like that's one. Gonna thing. It's gonna be real. It's gonna be so noticeable. Like even like a half step mm-hmm. sounds so different. We can just keep lo- raising it and lowering it throughout like, <laughs> the rest of the podcast. That'd be so difficult for me though. Well, do you want to be funny? Uh, do you want to make it? I mean, we're in LA now. Like you said, we have to put our foot in the door. We gotta go, like, we gotta give them something. How many other podcasts do you think are on this campus right now? I don't know. I know Cezanne and Charles tried to start one. But there was like a... That was like beginning of freshman yeah, year. What was that called again? It was like Cezanne and Charles... I don't know, man. Variety Hour or something. something. They only made like one episode. Yeah, I know Aiden has the radio show. Mm-hmm. Does he still have that this year? Uh, I think so. Okay. And then, I don't him. know. I knew G had a radio show, but she's not here anymore. G? G, she is... Uh, she's a freshman. She was, if you know G, then you will know exactly what I'm talking about. But she's probably one of my favorite people. But she's gone now, and where I'm so she? sad. Where's she now? Uh, I don't know exactly where she went. USC? Somewhere in LA. Okay. She's at a college in LA. But so I'll probably see her again. But yeah, I just don't know that many people who have like radio shows or anything, mm-hmm. or podcasts. Yeah. I just feel like that's not something you really talk about. Like, if you have a podcast, you're not... Yeah, you're not going to tell people that. Yeah. And if you do tell people that, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, unless unless you're like me and inviting people to be on the yeah. podcast. So you just Come join put, our podcast. I put that caveat on there to make myself mm-hmm. not seem like an asshole. We should have P-Safe on the podcast. That'd be great. Me and P-Safe would go way back. Really? No. I don't think I... Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever... Like, the only interactions I've had with P-Safe are when my bike got stolen. Which, That's by the place. way... September 1st, that was a year ago. Yeah. Exactly a year ago today is when I lost my bike. <laughs> and then you ran for... Uh... And then I ran for advocacy chair in the RHA. Mm. Shout-outs to RHA. Shout-out to RHA. Um, and... Shout-out to the fourth floor. Shout-out to the fourth floor. Rosecrans. <laughs> if anyone's been... Did using... they redo that? They did, yeah, actually. Oh, what so they, they, like? re- they painted the walls, not red. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God, right? <laughs> um, they got a new ping-pong table. Um, they got some new study tables. Do you want to drink? I'm not gonna drink from that. Okay. So it, what else do they have? Um, I think they might have gotten a new foosball table. I'm not entirely sure. Mm-hmm. There's like a coffee table. On, th- we got that at the end of last year. Oh like yeah. A coffee table. We got a bunch TV. of stuff from East Quad at the end of last oh, year. Oh yeah. Uh huh. That's true. R A P. Sullivan. Th- one of one of my big points though, when I was making that presentation to change the fourth floor, was like one of the biggest issues is superfluous chairs. Mm-hmm. And first of all, that sounds like. 
like a that sounds like, like a Tame Impala confusing. album or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's a it's an indie band. My EP that I'm dropping. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, but like we had so many chairs up there that anytime you wanted to like move anything, you had to move the entire mm, floor around. That's true. Um, so that's not an issue anymore. Okay. I think the walls are like mustard colored now. So it's not like well, that's a little better. But it like, is a little better. Mustard. I mean, the color red is so upsetting. And if yeah. you're up there to study, like. If I was up there studying, I never was. But if mm-hmm. I was, like, that'd be so distracting to me. So, but everyone, everyone was like, why, why would you do that if it's not going <laughs> to affect you at all? It's like, for posterity, man. Yeah. Um, but the RHA, what the hell were we talking about? I don't know, man. Um, you, your advocacy chair. Oh, yeah, I ran for advocacy chair after my bike And you won it. And because, I, uh. Because I wore a suit. Oh, yeah, you wore a suit. And then what was your thing about your ears? Oh, yeah, I'm all ears. You're all ears. I'm looking at him right now. His ears are very big. They fan out. They're like... He looks like a hobbit, almost. Shout out to J.R.R. Tolkien. Shout out to J.R.R. Tolkien. I've got a... I've got a professor who looks... There's a Lord of the Rings class. Did you know that? What topic? I don't know. I just... One of my professors is like, Oh, yeah, I teach a Lord of the Rings class. And I was like... What the hell? That's crazy. That's insane. I don't know if it's like, maybe it's like a seminar or something, but like... Oh yeah, that would make sense. Wait! Holy shit! I think one of my so one of my friends that I made during RA training was actually telling me about that. Uh, so it was like, I was, I was going I was going to the climbing gym. Great segue. Um, yeah. I was going to the climbing gym and somebody was saying that they took a class where they like watched the movies, I think. I don't know exactly what they did. But they pretty mm-hmm. much just watched them. <laughs> um, maybe read the books. Man, those books are so hard to read. They're fun, though. Oh, they're, they're, they are, take forever. They're excellent. Sometimes you're in chapters and you're just like, I just want to get to the Helm's Deep battle. Yeah, sometimes you're in a chapter and you're like, why is he talking about maps? <laughs> <laughs> um, Lord of the Rings is one of those... Oh, God. Now, now like all the people who don't give a shit about Lord, the Lord of the Rings tuned out. haters are gone. Let's, um, not t- let's not dwell on yeah, that. Okay. It's just a cool class. Yeah. Happy happy that it exists. It probably is like a first year seminar. Mm-hmm. Shout out to first year seminar. First year seminar was good. Which first year seminar did you take? I was last in year? Jerusalem in the Holy Land. And? What do you mean, and? How was it? Oh, it was, <laughs> it was an interesting class. I actually had a dream about my professor in it. That's what I had night. a dream about last night. Shout out to Dr. Klein. That's what I had a dream about last night. What? The fourth floor of Rosecrans. <laughs> uh, many of you may be familiar that Rosecrans does not have an elevator. Um, yeah. And that sucks. But I dreamt that I was in an elevator in Rosecrans. I went to the fourth floor and it was this beautiful penthouse. And it had like a this kitchenette. Is like your greatest dream. Yeah, it had a kitchenette. Um, this is what you're going to do when you become a millionaire. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and Adam Stafford was there. <laughs> and, he, and he was like, hey, Alex, how's it going? I'm like, good. And then he's like, he was holding like, I guess like a, this, this is where it gets weird. He was holding like a, one of those like wine bags, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. He's like, he's like, you don't have to worry about these until you're older. I'm like, well, I don't, I don't. <laughs> 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 so he goes, he goes, you don't have to worry about these until older. I'm like, I mean, like, you know, you know me. I'm like, oh, well, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I will actually. And he's like, no. He's like, what's he's like, what do you, what do you mean? I'm like, well, I mean, I don't like I don't drink. I don't think I'm going to. And he's like, what's what the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm like, Adam, Adam what? Stafford, what? Yeah, the I'm hell? like, Adam, what are you talking about? Why and are you then, being aggressive? And then I was like, I called my mom, and I was like, Mom, Adam's being mean to me. <laughs> and she's like, Well, what happened? And I reiterated the whole conversation, and she said, she said, I think you're just being too judgmental, <laughs> Alex. And I'm like, what? And then I woke up. That's an interesting dream. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's not watching, it's just listening. Interesting. So You should ask a psychologist about that. Why is Adam Stafford being mean to you? Is it because it, I need his approval? Yeah. Alright, well, what were we talking about? You were talking about Jerusalem and the Holy Land and how that's you a, dreamt about that's your That's a fun class. Night. I dreamt about it because I had I missed a test and I had to go take it. That was the whole dream. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Did that ever happen in real life? Uh, no, it didn't. Shout out to Aiden Buzo. <laughs> <laughs> Name drop. Name drop, Aiden Buzo. What's this show called? Saturday, Saturday Nights, Nights with, with Sir Luna. Luna. But I don't know if it's on Saturday. Yeah, he might. I don't know if it's a different time. You should go listen to his radio show. 
God knows he needs people to listen to his radio <laughs> show. That sucks for him because um, he can't know like how many people want, like listen to it. Yeah. So he could have like five people total, or he could have like five hundred. That's true, and he would never know. Never know. Thankfully for us, we have an, uh, a view count. A view count. Wait, do you with podcasts? Yeah. If you're an artist, I think you can always know how many views you get. Okay, and obviously how many followers you yeah. have. Yeah. Um, let's see. My room is very small. <laughs> <laughs> Your room is tiny. My room is incredibly tiny. Your room is the size of my closet. The tender closets are huge. Mm -hmm. Dude, your room's so small. How do you live? It's been a lot more difficult, like, sort of coming to terms with that recently because, like, because I don't have a kitchen, it's harder for me to make vegetarian meals because around campus there's There's nothing nothing vegetarian. I mean, there's a salad bar. But, but that's so sketchy. There's that one vegan thing in the the layer, layer but, it's, it's, but it's, it's awful. It's never open. Whenever either. I eat that, I have a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good for me. Shout out to Sprouted. <laughs> Sprout. That's what it's called. That's what it's called. <laughs> Sodexo, please do not listen to this podcast. We love Sodexo. Yeah. I think there's an opportunity. I almost took a job with them. Really? Yeah. There's jobs for Sodexo? Yeah. You can just apply. Huh. They pay a lot of money, you get a lot of hours. But I was like, I was like, uh, no. Like, I got offered the library one, and I was like, I'd rather do that than, like, be... Starbucks. Yeah, be, like, <laughs> Starbucks or something, or the lair, and just having to, like, deal with kids and all that food. Mm-hmm. Maybe next year, when I'll have more... Because, like, right now, I don't know my free time, like, how it's going to go with working and everything. Mm-hmm. I don't want to overstress myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the thing for me is... We're only a week into the semester. Yeah. Um, I've been here for four weeks now. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to, like, do everything, anything and everything right now. Like, making this podcast is one thing that I really wanted to do, and mm-hmm. I'm happy that I'm finally And we're here. Doing it. We're here. No one's listening. We're <laughs> well, we're doing it, and we yeah. know that we did it. Um, but, like, I was telling my, my RD, I'm like, hey, can I do this, 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 and this? And he just kind of looked at me. He was like chill he's like i think you need to to settle down just a little bit um so we'll see how that goes but what's your rd's name jamal this is him shout out to jamal shout out to jamal epperson good guy great guy great beard um yeah he's very cool very stylish that's me that's jake this is the guy who we want to have on next week he seems cool he is He's on the crew team. What do you have on your desk? I feel like I'm really, really far. What do you mean? What's that? What's that? Web work. work? <laughs> it's, oh, it's for web work. Oh. Web work homework. No one knows what we're talking about right now. That's um, all right. We're looking at my computer. Welcome yeah. to the welcome to the new segment on welcome this to, podcast well, called "Looking at Alex's yeah. Student Loans." <laughs> <laughs> um, Lord, we got McAfee. We got the rules. That. Yeah, this is the poster that I have. Oh. For, for shout out to Redbubble. Shout out to Redbubble for um, set, shipping me posters that were crumpled <laughs> up. But also, shout out to Redbubble for sending me a free replacement order. Yeah. So I can't get too mad at them. Hopefully, like when mine come in, they're good. Yeah. Um, I don't know how that happened. Oh, wait, we should we should plug this. If you're a Del- oh, <laughs> if you're a Delray North resident, from uh, Wednesdays from five forty five to seven forty five. You get to play my board game in the first floor lounge. Yeah, it's called Mord Games. That's the event. The Moored event's Games. name. The but board game. is called The Rapture of Pitabolivi. But we're not going to get into that. No, because you could talk about that for I could talk several about hours. Way too long. Did I tell you I, I updated it? Yeah, you second? did. So you imagine a. Uh, this is for the, the audience back home. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, imagine like a portfolio bag, like about the size of uh, well, small, tight. like a like a medium sized dog. Yeah. Um, that's how big my board game used to be, and mm-hmm. I would carry it around in this giant chunky case. It was ridiculous. It was insane. It was it was crazy. Um, 
I made it finally foldable, and that's yeah. the biggest update. Thank you. Okay, we're talking about something else yeah. now. Uh, we're just looking at my uh, desktop, what's on Alex's desktop. What games do you have? Just what games one. do you have on your phone? On my phone? I don't have any games on my phone. And on my laptop, I have this one. Uh, we're not going to talk about games. Baba is you. Baba is you. Um, Maybe is next this? time we can look oh, at my laptop. Yeah. We'll, we'll, make, we'll make sure to do that. I'll make a new camera. Um, Set a reminder. <laughs> what are we at? We're, at? we're a little past 45 minutes. Oh my Holy God. shit. I want to keep doing this, though. We should record a second episode right now. We should just re-record the first episode. <laughs> ah, but I don't want to lose this. It's like an archive. You could do, like, this is episode zero. Uh-huh. And then uh-huh. we could do episode one. Like, right now? Or we could get, like, habit first. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> um, Are we going to end it? Is this what's happening? We need to have an ending segment. Well, what, what could that be? We need to think of something. Book reviews. Book reviews. <laughs> you read often? Uh, not as much as I used to. Okay. I started doing that recently. Anytime I have free time, I try to read. Like, I'm not doing YouTube as much anymore. I'm struggling through A Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah? Yeah. I finished the first one, then I forgot the second one at home, so... Mm. I'm gonna have to go to the library here. You can get Dune. That's a library. No, no one's gonna, no <laughs> no one's one's gonna, gonna get, get Dune. <laughs> I uh, had that book for three years and no one will notice. Yeah. Right now I'm reading the book Under the Banner of Heaven by John Krakauer. Um, he's the guy who wrote Into the Wild. You know that? You know him? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's about like Jack London wrote that one. <laughs> yeah, Jack London wrote Into the Wild by John Krakauer. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it's it's a good book. It's 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 going along. It's about um, like I guess the history of, of Mormonism in the United States, which is really interesting. Very cool. Because I don't know a whole lot about that stuff. I don't know a lot about Mormons either. I don't think I've ever met one. Really? They're mm. all over Oregon. Mm. Yeah, that's closer to Utah. True. Yeah. Shout out. Oh to... yeah, I guess it's weird though because it started in New York, didn't it? Yeah, they, like, kept moving west and okay. west, because everyone was kicking them out. Mm. Like, they would, like, pause somewhere, and then they would get attacked, and they just keep moving and moving. Mm-hmm. And then they formed Deseret in Utah Territory, and then the U.S. came along, and they're like, well, we can't really, you know, resist the government, so they're like, let's be a state. Mm-hmm. And that's why Utah is all Mormon. It's because Joseph Smith said he got some messages <laughs> from another <laughs> dimension. Joseph Smith got a text. You got a text from God that said, hold up, the Jews were actually in America. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry if you're a Mormon listening to this. Shout out to Mormons. Shout out to Mormons. I hope you can take this well. Yeah. We're just joking. We'll joke about everything. (laughs) It was uh, Joseph Smith and who's the dude who replaced him? Oh, God. I should know this, because I literally just, like, read this two days ago. I'm Wikipedia Mormons. Uh, while he does that, uh, book reviews is not going to be a segment, no, it's it's not. segment on this podcast. Um, there are 1.4 million Mormons in Mexico. There are 700,000 Mormons in the Philippines? That seems like a weird place for Mormons to be. No offense to <laughs> Filipino <laughs> Mormon followers. Shout out to Miles. <laughs> um okay i'm almost here all right so i'm at the part in the wikipedia page where joseph smith got killed in illinois oh my god spoiler for the book that i'm reading oh brigham young mm. brigham young is who took over oh because that's the university in Utah. yeah that's that's the whole thing you know so this was an interesting thing in the um in open the, new in, tab in the polygamy like the the sort of motto or one of the traditions on BYU mm-hmm. is cougars don't cut corners. So like they are on they're always on the sidewalks. <laughs> they never like walk through the grass. Because it's so beautiful. You know what's really weird about recording a podcast is that the fact that we have to have eye contact the whole time. Yeah. It's very difficult for me. I mean mm-hmm. it's not that I have a have an issue. It's just kind of weird. I'm hold on. Hold on, what are you Googling? Yeah look audience he's Googling. BYU Cougars don't Cougars cut corners don't cut the phrase was coined in 1995 we should go to Brigham Young for an episode 
We should try out Mormonism. Is that something you can like try out for like a little bit? <laughs> 30 day trial? <laughs> 30 day free trial of Mormonism. Um, Could you do that with Scientology maybe? Oh god. It'd be, it wouldn't be a free trial. All right, we're not going to talk about Scientology anymore <laughs> so we don't get killed. <laughs> Apologies to Tom Cruise and his family. And to his misaligned teeth. His teeth are weird. That is a great thing. All right, everybody, take out your phones and Google Tom Cruise <laughs> teeth. We're going to look up news. News from what, Tom Cruise? We're, look, we've got a new thing called... Tom News. Iron Man deepfake replay. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the video isn't bad, just not enjoyable to watch. Once upon a time, a report claimed Tom Cruise wanted to play Iron Man. He would want to play Iron Man. Um, Remember when he was in that Mummy movie that just came out? In the like advertisement. The reboot. Yeah, but there was like an advertisement that came out where there didn't have any sound. And it it oh, didn't have any yeah. music, so it was just like him screaming. Shout out to Brendan Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? I, uh, I don't think he's doing well. Aww. He's probably doing okay. Let's stop looking at Tom Cruise deep fakes. Brandon Fraser? It's Brandon. Brendan. Who's thinking I've got Brandon? a Brendan. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he does not look too Everyone well. take out your phones and look up Brendan look up Fraser. Brandon, Brendan Fraser. Wow. He's getting old. That's he just is. what happens. He looks good in this. Yeah. He's not looking too bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was in uh, uh, Georgia of the Jungle, right? Or was it Tarzan? It was Georgia of the Jungle. God, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody Google Brendan Fraser, Georgia of the Jungle. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Trailer. We're not watching. Uh, you know, let's watch it. It's, oh my god, look at that aspect ratio. That's like a box TV aspect ratio. A 4x3? Yeah. This is really loud. Story at the Bay Bridge. <gasps> Nobody knows who he is. <laughs> 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 We what just is, witnessed. What is, what is it just went straight from that to the title, George of the Jungle? Okay, so we just saw like a modern like bridge like scene. There's like a bunch of police. It's like a news report. It's and like the, there's some there's some shit going down on a bridge. A man jumps and a man the jumps off the side and he's squeeing like on a vine. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh god. Oh, let's keep going. I'm curious about this movie. <laughs> it's such a weird take on George of the Jungle. Like isn't that like that just Isn't a, it a cartoon? Yeah. It's like a cartoon where he was just chilling in the jungle. It's like Discount Tarzan, honestly. Is it really? Yeah. I thought it was a cartoon. Maybe it wasn't. Well, wasn't wasn't Tarzan also Disney though? Yeah, Tarzan's Disney. I don't think Georgia the Jungle's Disney. Were they trying to cash in? What the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> we have Brendan Fraser picking up a <laughs> clearly fake stuffed lion that's just gigantic. I think that should be the LM new new LMU logo. Oh, yeah. Shout out to the new LMU logo. Yeah. It's wow. great. I mean, I'm kind of used to it at this point. Because I've been inundated with it. Yeah. I just don't... Thro throughout RHA training. I mean, Honestly, training. you just have to accept it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely keeping that Tarzan bit. <laughs> Nobody knows. Who is? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get a replay on that. Nobody knows who is. <laughs> who is that guy? Is that the old trailer... Trailer doer. Yeah, that's like the guy who does like the Ishtar trailer. Have you heard of what, Ishtar? What is Ishtar? I'm typing very delicately. The E on my thing is uh, broken. Oh my god! It, okay, here we go. 
Ashtar was a very bad movie. <sighs> Oh, an ad. oh my god. Uh, not sponsored. Not sponsored, not sponsored by this. Not sponsored by Stadia. This movie is so dumb. <laughs> is it the same guy? Like, oh, it sounds sound like him. Everybody go watch Ishtar. Actually, don't <laughs> watch <laughs> Ishtar. <laughs> Um. Well, as in with regards to that uh, that voiceover, I don't think I, I think nobody knows who he is. No one knows who that guy is. He nobody just gets knows a lot of nobody money. Nobody knows who he is. <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows where he's from. <laughs> nobody knows. What if we What if we introduced all of our guests by saying nobody, nobody knows, knows who, who he is? is. I mean, no one knows most of the people here. Um, we should find like a celebrity. There are kids here there's, there's who a kid, are there's celebrities. A, there's a, there's a, one of my residents in Delray North mm-hmm. is a TikTok celebrity. He has over a million followers. There are like people here who I meet who are I find out later were like celebrities. I just like don't Prince care. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't care honestly. If you're a celebrity, that's good for you. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it means you have a lot of money, but in terms of like a social interaction, I think it doesn't give you any clout. Just <laughs> no. just the fact that you have sort of that. Honestly, if you're variety. a celebrity on LMU campus. Uh, message my Instagram and we can get you on the podcast. Maybe we can podcast. get you on the show. Yeah. Um, we'd love to give you exposure. <laughs> yes. All of this exposure. We'll give you the exposure. Um. <laughs> Nobody knows where he's from. <laughs> hold on, just hold on. Okay, no wow. one's gonna listen to this fucking podcast. No, I don't think so. No one's gonna make it through this episode. Um, I really hope that they stay for the George and <laughs> the jungle bit, though. How the hell? Did, oh, we were talking about Tom Cruise. It's such a we're weird talking, bit. Scientol- wow, we, we were, were talking about a lot. We were, of things. we were talking about. Let's book. go back. We started with book reviews. Yeah. Recap. We started with book reviews. Recap. Dune's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> When's Dune coming out? I don't know. It should be good. Also, the Joker movie just came out. Uh oh. I will not see it. I'm not gonna watch that movie at all. I just don't have an interest. Wait, it comes out. Wait, why do they already have a six out of ten? <laughs> Somebody, wait, they're probably talking about the old one. Oh yeah, probably. But there's a 2020, 2020 movie. 2020. I'm, I'm pretty sure Oscar Isaac. Yeah. Oscar and the guy Isaac's from the it. guy from Call, Call Me by Your Name is gonna be in it. Huh. Um. Well, you can just go to the cast. You don't have to look at the Google images and try to figure out who these people are. <laughs> cast. cast. Who's in it? We Tiffany Oscar Chalmay. Isaac. So we got, we got Oscar, Dameron. Rebecca Ferguson's in it. Josh Brolin. Whoa, so Rebecca Ferguson. Thanos is in it. No way. Yeah, Josh Brolin. Uh, Stellan Skarsgård. Dave Bautista. That's a, wow, that's a star-studded cast. Zendaya's in it. Holy crap! I don't know who these people. Jason Momoa. Ooh, boy. Javier Bardem. They're, they're really trying to make a big deal out of this Dune movie. Yeah. Holy shit. I hope it'll be good. I hope it's not like another like Jupiter Ascending type thing. Oh god. Well, I mean, Dune's a classic. Yeah. I wasn't able to finish it. Let's hope they don't Golden Compass this one. <sighs> Did you ever read the Golden Compass? No. I watched the movie and I was like, "What is happening?" It's not a good movie. What? It's they're making a new like series about it. About the Golden Compass? Yeah. Like, like a TV show? Yeah. Like yeah. Like good. So all you Golden Compass fans, I hope you're excited. Just Have saying. you noticed that like every corporate decision nowadays is based off of nostalgia? Yeah. That really annoys There's me. There's nothing really new coming out, but like, that's just because that's the state of like American media, mm-hmm. is that they know, they just want to make money. So like the mood is to do like foreign films and tv shows that's true where there's still like some innovation going on i mean that's there's true about american things there's still like original stuff Mm -hmm. that's just not in the limelight you just gotta know where to look speaking of foreign films have you seen the movie burning no what's it's so good it's on netflix Um, we shouldn't talk about a movie on our lmu podcast but um let's talk about this movie hunger games 
Which one? The second one. What is the second one the called? Second Catching one, Fire? The second one is You know why I'm right. talking about that? Yeah. It's because it was directed by an LMU alumni. Oh, who? Let's get him on the podcast. <laughs> I don't her. I think, I think they are definitely older now. Hunger Game. No, we got 20 by going. teen. You can be any gender. Hunger Game. Two. Two. I read the Hunger Games books. Um, directed by Francis Lawrence. Lawrence. Wow. Look at him. Oh. Education, LMU. Let's get him on. Let's get him on the podcast. What else did he direct? Go down. Oh, he did the other Hunger Games. Why do you look like Jack Nicholson from a distance? Oh, yeah. What else did he do? Uh, Videography. No, right there. Oh. Uh, Hunger Games, Hunger Games, Red, Red Sparrow, Sparrow, Hunger, Hunger Games. Games. I, I am legend. legend. Cool. Well, he might just you, be like an associate over on five that. more. Water for Elephants. Britney Spears. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Greatest hits, hits. My prerogative. prerogative. Jennifer Lopez. Okay. So she did. He did two biopics. Oh, he worked on Constantine. Okay. Shout out. I don't know what this is. Apparently, Google it's doesn't not, even know what this it's is. It's not a big thing, huh? Red Sparrow. How was that? I don't know. I don't watch that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's another J Law movie. So this guy's like partnered with J Law. Is so that what we're seeing? Huh. Oh, actually, I did see Red Sparrow. So he worked with J-Lo, is what you're telling me. And now he and he's works with, with J-Lo. J-Lo. Yeah, Red Sparrow's actually okay. It's a little weird in places. Yeah? Where it's just sort of like, uh, oh, this is too much. Is this our segment? Movies directed by LMU alumni? Honestly, there's probably a lot. That'd be cool. We gotta get, like, a bunch of film people on. Cezanne? Because... Connor? Speaking of Connor, he's worked on more than Cezanne. No offense to Cezanne. Let's go get something to eat. <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll catch you yeah, in the next thank episode. You guys. Um, we'll catch you we later. We appreciate your patronage and uh, have a good one. Yeah, peace out. Shout out to you, the <laughs> audience. <laughs>